The Crossgates neighborhood in Brandon is in awe after hearing about the events that transpired leading to the death of a police officer. Neighbors told us that even though the situation began around 2 a.m. Thursday, it wasn't until 6 a.m. when they heard what sounded like hundreds of shots fired. What I thought was our neighbor's antique car backfiring, but it was a succession of um, backfires is what it sounded like. But it, it wasn't that because it, it happened for, you know, like probably 10 or 15 times. And then it happened again right after that. Lynn Sears, a 32 year homeowner in the Crossgates neighborhood, says that she would have never expected this to happen here. We've lived here this long and never had anything like this happen, you know, so. You know, you hear about things like this in Jackson, you know, you don't expect it to be here. Several others in the community say that as a neighborhood, their hearts go out to those affected in this standoff situation. You just never know when somebody's got something going on in their life, you know, that's going to spill over into situations like this. In Brandon, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.